Oh, oh hi, it's me, a, a pasty white boy, just reading the, the finest piece of literature known to mankind. A doujinshi. Wow, ain't that just wonderful? But I'll tell you what, there's just, there's just all these weird black lines getting in the way of my reading pleasures. Hi, welcome to Anime Repository Reviews, or R, which coincidentally is the sound that Jeff Fu makes whenever he sees me. Also, hi Google, how are you? Um, this video is for educational purposes only. Now the program itself is called Deep Cream Pie, and I have to say right off the bat, 10 out of 10, I, I, I love them. Naming scheme that is, yes, it's great because you have the deep, as in it uses deep learning, and you have the pie, as in it uses the Python language and they both come together beautifully with the cream. But basically what it does is, you know those black lines in those dirty drawings? This this program gets rid, rid of them. Just look, it turns this picture, it's not hentai, but I chose something that could easily replicate the feel. Like what is Satania sniffing? And if you run it through the program and it becomes something like this. Wow, it did it did a pretty good job. This was my first test and it worked out pretty well. You can see some flaws, but most importantly, now we can see that Satania was just sniffing a cucumber, a sea cucumber, and, and not something else. Wow, thank you program for uncensoring this hentai. Oh, but Kubi. How did it work? Well, aren't you just a little dumb autistic boy? It's simple. It's a modified version of an unofficial implementation of this exact paper, which does a good job of explaining it all in a little under 23 pages. Like, you need to know some stuff about neural networks and, and convolutional neural networks and some more stuff. But, yeah, go and read it. And I'll wait just right here. So imagine you have the, the image going into these circles things, and in these circle things you have a little filter that scans it, uh, and it tries to find patterns and learn what these patterns are. Then by using this it tries to guess what should be put in the green places. But this is a very bad but short explanation of how CNNs work. And this is probably how the program works. Probably. So let's test, so I'm gonna test it out some more right now. So let's go to the computer. Okay, well, first off, it uncenses everything in pure green, so you gotta slather it all over the place. While I do this, let's roleplay as a person who likes censorship. Oh, look, Tori here, she's a, sure, she's a bit too, she's, oh, she's a bit too sexy, she's showing too much skin. Like, all of this should just be censored. Yes, ev everything, especially these big, big... N norks, melons, ma mammary glands, whatever you call them, no one should see them. Because I haven't come out of the closet yet. And then basically you just put it in these files and you click and oh, now it's going and done. Wow, it, it looks wonderful, yes. They look, Toru, you're looking very, very nice, might I say, today with those wonderful eyes. But other than the eyes, it looks perfectly fine, uh, if you exclude some of that stuff. Things like butt fangs are gone, but it's still a complete thigh, you know. Everything else, 
is perfect. Some little bumps, but it's learning. It's learning. So it also works for um, li li liquids, M mouth liquids. Yes. Uh, again, this is not hentai, but oh, 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 what, what is that thing going into her mouth? Well, we don't know because of the censorship. And clickety click a boop de boop, and well, it turned out pretty perfectly to be honest. There's no real big flaws. Like you can tell the difference if you're looking at them side by side, but yeah. If you're looking at this one, it, yeah, it looks perfectly fine, honestly. Uh, the, the mouth fluids turned out well also. Huzzah! I, I love mouth fluids. But I've actually found a secondary use for this technology. So since it's just image in painting, we could use it to say, I don't know, look at this lovely girl's facial features. Now imagine what a mean person I'd be if I just, say, coloured them all in green and then ran it through the program. Oh look, it's all, all the, the, the eyes and mouth are gone now. How horrifying, yes, very horrifying. But wait, what if I just put it in Photoshop and add little face features? <laughs> it makes head tie so much more enjoyable if faces were just like this. But this is going to be where I end it. So yes, goodbye everyone. Have fun with reading dojins or something.